Hi students, welcome to our channel. In this video, I am going to explain to you 8th mathematics, the next topic that is a square numbers. Okay, so what is meant by square? Okay, so square means already we know it is a shape. It is a four sided. It is a four sided shape, isn't it? We know it is, this is known as square. Now, what is the area formula for the square? We know side into side, isn't it? Side into side. We already know that. Okay, this is the area formula for the square. Simply we can say a square, isn't it? So if you are taking the side to say the this side is also say because all the sides are equal for square, isn't it? So a into a is equal to a square. Okay, this is the area formula for the square. Okay. I hope you all understood. This is known as what square. A square is nothing but we are going to multiply a side with the side. That's all. This is a square formula. Okay. The same thing we are going to do here. For example, look at here. This is a only one. Okay. So totally, how many units I am going to take? This as a one side. Okay. So this side is one. This side is also one. So totally, one into one. What is a square? One. Because one into one is what? One, isn't it? So now look at here. Now I am going to take. Two units okay this is one unit and also this is one unit totally how many sides here we have two sides okay in this this is one unit this is one unit totally how many units we have two so totally what is the square formula that is side into side isn't it so 2 into 2 is equal to 4 simply we can say 2 square okay so now let's move for the three sides okay so now look at the uh, count that totally how many sides we have one two three okay so this is one unit two unit three units so totally how many units three units now coming to here this is one unit two unit and three unit totally how many units three units here so side into side isn't it so three into three it can be written as three square so three square is equal to nine okay so this is a simple introduction about the square okay the square means what it is raised to the power two okay we have two at the top of the number we have two at the top of the number then it is known as square okay so if you have book all of you take your book page number 26 so now four square okay so four square means how do we say this four squared is 16 okay so this says four squared is 16 or otherwise the two at the top stands for squared the two at the st top stands for squared okay so we, you should not say four power two it is what four squared okay so and it indicates a number number of times a number appears in the product it should number of times it appears okay so what is in the power that means what is in the up okay if for example here we have two so we want to write nine at two times nine at two times if for example 10 square how do we write we want to write 10 at two times now for example 10 power 4 how many times we want to write 10 okay so we want to write 10 at how many times four times so 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 okay that's all so now for example we can say 7 power 5 what is that meaning we want to write 7 at how many times five times we want to write so 7 into 7 into 7 into 7 into 7 okay that's all this is the introduction about the square number i hope you all understood okay so we have the perfect square number so perfect square number is already we know perfect now already i have told you square means what the number it multiplied with same number okay so one is multiplied with one two is multiplied with two three is multiplied with three four is multiplied with four this is known as what square okay if i am multiplying one with four it is, is it a square it is not a square what is square a number it is multiplied with the same number then it is known as square okay so we have some perfect square numbers okay so now look at the book so this is one what is the square of one one what is the two square because two into two isn't it that is four what is the three square three into three is nine what is the four square four fours are 16 what is the five square five fives are 25 the same thing okay up to 20 they have written okay so now look at here we can now easily verify the following properties to of square numbers by referring the table given above okay so this is for the perfect square number so they have given some easy thing for us so now listen if a number end with 1 or 9 if a number end with 1 or 9 okay so now look at here for example the number whatever number may be okay so number end with 1 or 9 so 11 what is the number this number end with 1 if the number end with 1 the square end with 
वन द स्क्वायर एंड्स विथ वन सो वॉट इज अलेवन स्क्वायर लेवन स्क्वायर मीन वॉट लेवन इंटू लेवन सो लेवन लेवन सर वॉट वन ट्वेंटी वन सो वन ट्वेंटी वन इफ द नंबर एंड विथ वन द स्क्वायर इज ऑल्सो एंड विथ वन ओके सो नौ नौ नयन द नंबर एंड विथ नयन द स्क्वायर इज ऑल्सो एंड विथ वन द स्क्वायर इज ऑल्सो एंड विथ वन बिकॉज नाइन नाइन सर वॉट एटी वन ओके दट सॉ so now look at the second property if a number end with 2 or 8 if a number end with 2 or 8 we can take now 12 i am going to take what is the end end of the number 2 is the end of my number if a number end with 12 okay the square is all, the square is end with 4 Okay, we we know twelve twelve is our one forty four, isn't it? So one forty four. So the number end with two, the square end with four. Okay. So for example, I am going to take eight. Eight end with if a number end with eight, the square is end with what? That is also four because eight eight is our what? Sixty four. Okay. So now the number end with three. The number end with three. For example, what is the three square? That is nine. Okay, so now what is the thirteen square? Thirteen square is what? That is one sixty nine. So number end with three. The square is also end with nine. Okay, so for example, the number end with seven. That uh, square is also end with nine. Okay, so these are all the property they have given. Okay, so the number end with four. It end with the square end with six because four four are sixteen, isn't it? Six six are thirty six. Okay, so this is a, this is for our easy understanding they have given in the book. Okay, so if a number end with five or zero, its square is also end with five or zero respectively. Okay, so for example, if the number end with five, the square is also end with five. Five five are twenty five. Okay, so now the number end with so fifteen. Okay, the number uh, end with fifteen. So fifteen into fifteen is what two hundred and twenty-five. So number end with five. The square is also end with five. The number end with zero. The square is also end with zero. Okay, because ten into ten is what that is hundred. Okay, so now the square of an odd number be always odd number. The square of the odd number is odd number. The square of the even number is even number. Okay, so this is also very important. The square of odd number is what ma? Odd number. For example, three is my odd number. What is the square of three? That is nine. Three square is nine. So the if you are squaring the odd number, the answer is also what? Odd number. So four. Four is a what? Odd number or even number? It is also a yeah, even number. So if you are uh, Squaring the even number, the answer is also a even number. Okay, so I hope you all understood. This is these are all the very very basic things about the square. Okay, this is very very basic. So what does mean by square? A square is nothing but the power. Okay, so the power raised to two. The power raised to two. Okay, any number, the top of the number it has two, then it is known as what square. We should not say two. What is this? This is not a seven two. Many of them you told like this. So seven two. It is not a seven two. It is a seven square. How do we read this seven square? Already you know square means what? That is side into side, isn't it? So a into a. I hope you all understood. This is a way we can find it. Okay. So in this sum, uh, in this square, I am going to give you one task. Okay. Try to extend the table up to fifty numbers. Okay. In the book they have given up to twenty numbers. So all of you by heart up to twenty. All of you by heart this. This is must. Okay. Up to twenty. All of you by heart. Under written as written as a homework. Now up to fifty. You have you just write as a uh, you just write as a homework. Okay, so no need to by heart up to fifty. If you have that capability, you can do it. But twenty is must. Okay, so what is a today's this is our let's try problem. So let's try one to twenty. Okay, you have to write in your homework note and also by heart. Up to fifty, you just write it. No need to by heart. This is a task for you. ओके सो अप टू ट्वेंटी नहीं पड़ी मनपाड़ पड़ी एल फिफ्टी वरक नहीं नो नीड टू बैक ओके सो ई हॉप यू आल अंडरस्टूड थैंक यू स्टूडेंट थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग